appropriate, appropriate question for the, uh, each solution. So uh, this is the uh, relations between the strength change and the uh, hydrate, amount of hydrate. I mean, combined the uh, parameters with the uh, CH and CSH. So using this kind of the uh, relationships and the findings, we can find the, uh, this kind of equation which represents the uh, strength change or uh, Young's model change and so on. And also uh, by using the uh, current the equation, the, I mean the, uh, uh, when we introduce the uh, strengths or fractionality, then the, the, the we can draw the uh, softening curve. Then unfortunately, the, uh, for NSL, we could, good, we could have the good agreement between the experiment and the uh, prediction methods. Then, using this kind of the model, uh, if you, you can introduce into the uh, uh, RBSN analysis, then uh, you can the, the predict the, uh, uh, some mechanical response of the uh, mesoscale specimen or macro scale specimen after the, uh, uh, the, the, the deterioration. But of course, the, uh, uh, there are some the, uh, very difficulties. So at the end of the, my talk, uh, I want to explain about the, uh, the, uh, our current the, 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 the issues. So, okay, this is sodium chloride, and this is calcium chloride. So maybe you are wondering, because I just show you, I just show you the uh, tension softening prediction just for the uh, sodium chloride. So reason is like that. Okay, this is sodium chloride, this is the calcium chloride, the change in strength is almost the same, but the, this, the softening branch is totally different. So it's, yes, amount of chloride itself is the same, but the, uh, in the immersion test, but the uh, strength change was also the same, but softening branch was totally different. So because in this case, we have new product, I mean the double salt, so such a newly developed the, uh, hydrate or uh, the uh, compound affect the uh, mechanical properties of the, uh, such a uh, mesoscale specimen. That's why we have to detect the, uh, how these newly developed one uh, the, uh, influence the uh, overall behavior of the, uh, uh, our specimen. This is one thing. And the other one is, okay, this is a, poor size distribution. So uh, for the uh, different days. So, okay, now, sorry, this is Japanese. So let's say 0, 30, 60, 90, and 180, something like that. So 60 and 90, 180, in fact, amount of the CH and CSS was almost the same. But poor size distribution is not the same. So the uh, meaning of this is we have to consider not only the amount of CH and CS, and, but also the uh, poor side distribution itself. This is a current, the, uh, our the issues. And also, uh, in case of the uh, acid deterioration, the, we have another the, 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 uh, product like a gypsum. So now we are trying to consider the uh, influence of such uh, the materials. Okay, uh, at the end of yes, my talk, I can mention the uh, two things. So I have explained new assessment method based on the method scale observation. And also the other one of the example, I have introduced about the, uh, some test results. And also the, uh, I have to mention the, uh, it's a very long way to complete the method, of course, but in the near future, I would like to the, have a chance to explain the more, uh, better result for you. Thank you very much. Thank you for your consideration. Thank you very much, uh, professors.
Any questions or comments to uh, this night presentation? If the curve of variation about uh, about size ring and opening crack opening, yes, still as same of the um, collision collision deformer. If if you talk about uh, the collision with about air or humidity humidity, is this still as same as the collision with the, with the chloride and sulfate? I, 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 I mean I, that um, about the relation of uh, tensile ah, yes, strain. Yes, yes. yes. Is it view as same? No. Uh, oh, uh, okay. I, it's I got not you. same. It's not same, of course. Because of your uh, the as I okay the one thing is so even the uh, same the uh, reaction rate in the cement hydrate. So poor side distribution. It's not the same. So maybe uh, there's a rule. I mean, OK, we have poor side distribution, the smaller one, the bigger one. Maybe, I, 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 I'm not sure, but the, uh, the sum of the pool affect the strength. But the uh, less maybe affect the softening branch, something like that. Yeah. So that's why the, uh, if physically, Maybe the uh, poor side distribution itself is a uh, one important issue, and also the amount of the uh, hydrates itself is of course it affects the uh, strength, right? The mainly the uh, CSH is the uh, most important hydrate to know the uh, strength. That's why the, uh, we have to combine information of the uh, CSH and the uh, poor side distribution. Uh, this is one thing. The other thing is new product. As I uh, explained, for example, the uh, uh, acid case, we have the uh, gypsum or uh, the uh, sometimes we have ethylene So then these new products uh, really affect the uh, mechanical uh, property, especially for the uh, softening branch. So that's why my colleague in German now, they are studying about the uh, tension softening behavior of cement paste itself. How the, <laughs> the cement paste itself affect the uh, mechanical characteristics. Because I, today, what I explained is just the result of the uh, motor, right? including uh, some fine aggregates. Yeah. So that's why it's rather complicated to know the uh, uh, the uh, influence of the hydrate scientifically. That's why they are now using the uh, sem just cement hyd uh, sorry, the cement paste. See that? Okay. Yes, one more thing. Yes, yes and I saw that um, the first month of the taste, mm -hmm. yes, it showed that um, the strain is decreased as more, um, and in the, in the second month, it does decrease about 20. 20%, mm -hmm. yes, but the first month is just 60%, okay. yes. that's why they like that, okay. it's yeah. described. Yes, it's good, good, good question. I mean, the, uh, today I did not explain. I mean, the, uh, okay, the five millimeter size, five millimeter, our space is five millimeter. It's, we found that it's relatively large to discuss about the uh, chemical fracture zone. I mean, okay, the, let's say the, uh, can, can I use some minutes, okay. So, uh, okay, I'll explain in detail. So, uh, the, as you can see, uh, you, the, uh, you, you saw the, uh, Okay, let's use photo. Uh, listen. Okay. This is our imagine 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 test. The uh, this uh, the uh, sodium chloride and the calcium chloride are replaced in every 
one month. Okay? So, I mean, the beginning, no calcium at all in the, uh, sorry, the, uh, a lot of calcium in the, uh, this, the, uh, the liquid aqua, right? But uh, it's moving into the uh, cement paste, okay? And uh, chloride. And, but on the other hand, other hand, calcium in the cement paste uh, moving out into the uh, liquid. And then finally it's balanced, right? And the, after the, such a balancing, the, uh, the, 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 I forgot the name, silica ratio of the uh, silica, the, uh, <laughs> I forgot the, the name of that, the, uh, uh, the uh, ratio between the uh, SIO. SIO I, I, so I, I forgot the uh, actual name here. But uh, anyway, pH is changed, and uh, that ratio of the silica is changed. As a result, the uh, stiffness and the strength is changed. So, I mean, when we look at uh, just one millimeter, one millimeter, just uh, the contacted with the uh, liquid, in that area, we have the uh, low the, uh, SI ratio and the higher stiffness. And next one millimeter has a uh, little bit the, uh, lower the uh, stiffness and uh, the another layer has the uh, more smaller strength, something like that. So, I mean, when we look at the five millimeter, we have some strength distribution. So as a result, as a result, the, uh, after the, uh, such uh, the uh, situation takes place, the uh, strength or stiffness would be recovered. So that's why it's not linear. Or, uh, so now, in fact, uh, we just found the, uh, this phenomena. So now we are thinking about how we can solve this, we can detect that inference. So maybe we have to look uh, at the more smaller size specimen, I mean the one meter or two, uh, two millimeters, something like that. But uh, I cannot say the, uh, how we should do that. But it's a good question, thank you. Yeah. Several types of fiber, steel or carbon or polyvinyl, or polyvinyl or polypropylene and so on, that ranks uh, five to 30 millimeters, the diameter is one, 0 0.1 to two millimeters. The very short, very thin fiber are inputted in the concrete or cementinous material. That enhance the tensile performance of concrete. You know where that uh, concrete is very good material in compression, but weak in tension. These fibers uh, enhance the performance in tension. So many researchers, many researches have been done and confirmed that uh, some types of material shows good softening cap. Uh, when we just use the concrete or mortar, after the peak, we just have a drop of the uh, strength. But uh, thanks to the fiber breaching, that shows a good softening, where in some cases, we can somehow increase the strength and, yes, the formation as well. And this is one of the, uh, our investigation by X-ray. And that shows the steel fiber in the cementinous material. So, yes, you can see the well-distributed fibers in cementinous material. And uh, this is a picture after the cracking, after the test. We have a crack and the many fibers breaches the cracks that enhance the tensile performance of concrete. Many researches have been done and uh, confirm these uh, material properties. The one of the innovative uh, material in this field is called high performance uh, fiber reinforced cementinous composite, HPLCC. That is our, my topic today. That shows a multiple cracking under inertial tension test. As a result, we can have such a big uh, deformability or ductility after the peak. You can see this is a material, but we do not use any steel or something, just cementinous material with fibers that can have very big ductility like this. By controlling the material well, we can get this kind of material. So, <coughs> so once again, uh, this is a material with multiple 
cracking. That show the good ductility here. And researches in the past was done mainly to confirm the performance under uniaxial tension test or compression. Means load is always applied in one direction, open and closing. In that situation, this material shows very nice performance. And yes, using this performance, we have used in practical field for the surface retrofitting or some other purposes. However, to use this material in much wider uh, field, like uh, structural members, we have to consider more. That is the shear phenomena. So suppose in the case of bridge deck, uh, this is a bridge deck, and it is exposed to the car loading pass every day, many passes. If we use this material to the deck part or slab part, this material exposed to the force from various direction, even after the cracking, that have the rotation of the principal stress in direction. In this situation, we have the uh, phenomenon like this means after cracking, crack opening, we have a sliding. O not only opening, closing, but opening and sliding happens. So at that time, we have to consider the shear performance of this material. And you know that uh, in case of normal concrete, we use aggregate. That size is something two centimeter and so on. Therefore, in case of normal concrete, we have the crack cracking with some zigzag shape that can resist against the shear force. However, in case of yes, this kind of fiber reinforced concrete, like HPRCC, does it have coarse aggregate, big aggregate? Therefore, the crack is relatively smooth, then easy to slip. So if we use this kind of material in such situation, we have to consider how weak this shear performance is. This is our motivation to do the research. And uh, yes, I, we, we have some bad experience. Uh, some structure deteriorated faster than we expected because of this a weak shear performance. So this was one of the background. Anyway, the purpose, our objective of this uh, research and today's talk is understand the shear transfer performance of HPLCC to use this material in much wider uh, field, like uh, structural members, not only just surface uh, coating or just retrofitting, but also to use the structural member that exposed to the various uh, stress history. So the Dr. Sriant, uh, our former PhD, did the research is in from various aspects. But uh, today I will talk about uh, focusing on the uh, modeling part. So to know the performance of the HPLC share, uh, we did one experiment. And after that, we did some modeling for the computation. So we finally include the behavior into the FEM program, and I will show some FEM simulation result today. So yes, modeling and some yes, numerical simulation I will show. So we start from the investigation of share uh, of the HPLCC. So generally, to know the share performance on cracked concrete, uh, we do some experiment. Uh, one typical thing is a direct tension test. So once we have a crack and give some shear force and what happens on the surface. But in case of fiber reinforced concrete, this yes, crack is breached by fibers that generate very complex stress situation. As a result, we have unexpected or not desirable uh, cracks here. So it's difficult to do the direct shear test for fiber reinforced concrete. And also, uh, the HPLCC has a multiple cracking. This is single crack. Therefore, it's not so good to get the shear performance. So therefore, we newly propose the uh, experiment to extract the shear performance of HPLCC. That is the very simple bending test. Firstly, we